Well, we're back on dry land for tomorrow's feature film, the story of a seemingly impossible bank robbery starring Albert Finney and Martin Sheen, who discover and exploit the loophole at 9.25 tomorrow. And these are the programmes for the rest of this Christmas Eve uh, here on BBC One. At 10.25, following the news, a festive edition of The Good Old Days. The stars include Roy Castle and John Inman. At 11.15, the story of peace in no man's land, the remarkable truce that took place on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day 1914 on the Western Front, when the British and German soldiers laid aside their weapons and hostility to sing carols and exchange greetings and souvenirs. At 11.50, midnight mass from the chapel of the Convent of Mercy Straban, Northern Ireland. Now on BBC One, at 10 minutes past 10, the news with Moira Stewart. Rescue for Laker Airways. Sir Freddie's given longer to repay his loans. The Pope lights a candle for peace in Poland. Another Polish ambassador defects in protest against martial law. And a day of mourning in Cornwall. Funerals for victims of the Penley lifeboat disaster. A rescue deal has been worked out to save Laker Airways. With the help of the Bank of England, the airline's creditors have agreed, in principle, to give Sir Freddie Laker another 12 months to repay a £200 million loan. But there will be redundancies, and some of the company's aircraft will have to be sold off. The airline ran into trouble after miscalculations about the exchange rate. Sir Freddie agreed to reorganise his finances, and the rescue plan should be confirmed by mid-January. Nick Witchell asked him tonight whether the company's future is now secure.